There you go, San Lucia Distillery. Let's go see if I can get, so I'm hungry. I haven't eaten anything. Caribbean Chronicles by Liesl, rum tasting in St. Lucia. My last day in Sufri, I decided I hadn't had enough and I wanted to add something else to my itinerary. I had a wonderful rum tasting experience in Barbados and I thought to myself, can I recreate this in St. Lucia? I did some research the night before and found out that the St. Lucia distilleries was in between Sufri and Castries in an area known as Roseau Valley. I decided to go to the Rhythm of Rum tour before taking my bus to Castries for my last night in St. Lucia. Let's talk about getting to the distillery via public transport. Head over to the middle of town and catch any bus going to Castries. They can stop you at the junction where you can proceed to the road that leads to the entrance of the distillery. That's the easy part. Coming back might be a bit tricky. And that's where I needed to be patient and creative. I eventually hitchhiked back to Sufre. Jesse, I'm not Jesse, you know. I'm going to do it this way because it's more relaxing for me than, oh, look at that, uh, than the other way because just having this back and going there, doing the tour, coming back, ooh. Where is it? It's probably in the back or on the bed. I have to check. So, give me the last itty bit of the Lucia before I disappear. Oh my god, that is such an awesome view. I should actually get a picture with that. Morning. How are you doing? I'm good. And you? That's good. Uh, was going to class three. Do they still have space? Take me, take me. So this is the bus station. I hope I'll get a spot to class three. I'm probably not going to eat anything because I'm too late. Bus travel. Are they go? Oh, is he going to class Castries? So you still have space? There you go, San Lucia Distillery. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm having a fish cake and bake before my tour and a sour soft juice because I don't want to do it in an empty stomach and I'm glad I was able to get this. I fell asleep on the bus, I was tired. Hi everybody, welcome to the Rhythm of Rum and the good ship back in there. While you're here, you will see rum being made from raw molasses right through to the finished product. Molasses is made from sugar cane, which people say used to cover the whole island. Do you remember that, Jacko? What? The sugar cane? I remember the sugar cane. Of course I do. Kept this little island afloat for 200 years. 200 years? You better believe it. About the tour, it begins with a short video in a reconstructed ship where you are told about rum and rum production on the island. They also mentioned that you will see rum production. After that, we headed over to the factory where I didn't get to see the actual rum production process, but we were presented with ingredients on a display table and the spirits at different stages with which our guide used to explain the rum production. Next stop is the Carnival Interpretation Center. I really like this part because you see costumes and learn about the different aspects of Carnival in St. Lucia. We ended our tour by going into the tasting room with a buffet of several bottles of rum. At this stage, our guide explained a couple of the bottles and their content and then left us to our own devices. 
I would have appreciated a more guided tasting experience, but people are different and they do things in different ways. On a positive note, you had 20 bottles or more to knock yourself out on if that's what you were into. Let's listen to my guide explain the bottles. For now, that this one was aged in bourbon cast. This one is eight years called a princess aged in port wine cast. Those two here are blended rums. This one is a 11 year old rum called vintage. Nine years called legacy. It's a blend of sugarcane and molasses. Those two are same age, but sorry, those two are the same rum but different ages. This one is eight years, this one is five. After the rum tasting, the actual adventure started. I needed to get back to Soufri to check out, but there were not enough vehicles heading from Roseau to Soufri. At the bus stop, I met a gentleman headed to Ansley We combined forces and hitched a ride that way, and I told him I would try to find my way onwards to Soufri. He didn't think it was a great idea, but I had never been to the village of Ansley so I thought, why not? I got to see beautiful murals whilst I waited for a ride. Funnily enough, I got to hitch an ice cream delivery truck back to Sufri. I was so happy and thankful that I got to do this one last activity in Sufri before checking out for my gorgeous Airbnb, which I'll be telling you about on another episode.
I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Yours truly, Liesl81.